Hi everyone, welcome to the Rugby League History Channel. Tonight's video is going to be my round 5 tips for the 2022 NRL season. Last week I got 6 out of 8 correct with my tips. Let me know in the comment section below how many you got right. And let me know how you're going in your respective tipping competitions. This round is a round where I'm seeing a lot of games where they could go either way. It's a round where I could get very few right or I could get a lot right. It's, it's one of them rounds where the games are quite hard to pick. But we'll start with the first match which is on Thursday night. It sees Newcastle up against Manly Warringa. This one's being played at the McDonald Jones Stadium. Newcastle started the year great and the last two weeks they've hit a bit of a brick wall. Last week against Cronulla they were given a, a big massive donut. They didn't even score a point against Cronulla. And Manly have slowly started to find their feet. They've got two wins and uh, they're looking quite good. However, Tom Trevojevic, from what I've read, he's going to be out for three to four weeks, which is a massive blow. But they've proven in the past that they can still uh, rise to the occasion and they can still beat sides without Tom Trevojevic. Uh, Newcastle have won their last three encounters against Manly. So in recent times, Newcastle's been a bit of a bogey side for Manly. I will go for Manly to win though, uh, 1-12 to on the Thursday night. Even though it is in Newcastle, I just think that the way that the two sides have been playing over the last two to three weeks, I think Manly's just been better and I think uh, they, they would have got a lot of confidence after beating Canberra last week, so I'll go Manly to win 1-12. to The first match on the Friday is between New Zealand and North Queensland. This one's being played at Martin Daly Stadium at Redcliffe there. With North Queensland, they uh, have started the year better than what people have thought they would start the year. However, last week they were brought down to eighth, losing the Eastern Suburbs quite convincingly. And uh, New Zealand, they're a side where if you tip against them, they win. If you, if you tip them... They, they end up losing. They're, they're just one of those sides and they've done that to me a lot over the years. Uh, however, that win over Brisbane, a lot of people picked pick Brisbane to win that game and they, they played quite well in New Zealand and they, they deserved the win. So for this match, this is, this is a really tough game to pick because it could go either way. Uh, for North Queensland, though, they're, they're out, um, they're missing Hamiso Soup. That's what I call him, but he's... Real name Samiso Tabiwai Fedori, he's out for three to four weeks, which is a, a massive blow for North Queensland. Um, for this match, I will go for New Zealand to win. I'll go for them to win six points on the Friday. I think they'll just edge it over North Queensland, however it'll be a tight game. The main match on the Friday sees Brisbane up against Sydney Roosters. This one's being played at Suncorp Stadium. 20 years ago, this match probably would have been the game of the round because back in those days Brisbane were always up the top of the table or thereabouts and likewise for Eastern Suburbs. Going into this match Brisbane are a bit under a cloud of uh, another off-field scandal this time involving Pienas and Albert Kelly. They've also got a couple of players out for this game either through injury or suspension. They've lost the last two matches uh, Eastern Suburbs very impressive last week against North Queensland up there in Townsville. For this game, and given the way that Eastern Suburbs have played against Brisbane over the last couple of years, I'll go for East to win 13 plus on the Friday. I know it's in Brisbane. I know that the the crowd will be back in Brisbane all the way, but I'm just going to go for Eastern Suburbs to win on the Friday night. The first match on Super Saturday is Canberra against Melbourne. This one's being played at McDonald's Park in Wagga Wagga. Uh, over the last couple of years, the games between these two sides have been quite good. Canberra actually at one stage won three matches in a row against Melbourne. and Since then, Melbourne's won all the encounters since. Uh, Melbourne, I tipped them last week. I knew that, as it's been the case for many years, whoever beats Melbourne... The, the week after, whoever plays against Melbourne normally gets flogged by 20 to 30 points, and that was the case with Canterbury. 
and Canberra were very disappointing against Manly, very flat against them. Uh, for this match, I'll go Melbourne to win 13+. plus. I think they're going to be too strong for Canberra. I think uh, Melbourne will continue to win and they'll win well against Canberra. The second match on Super Saturday is between South Sydney and St George. This one's being played at Stadium Australia. South have won their last eight NRL matches against St George and they also had quite a bit of a winning streak against them in the Charity Shield which was brought to an end this year. South um, gave, gave it a red hot crack against Penrith last week but fell short and St George were very disappointed against Parramatta. I expected much better than uh, from them. This match is a rivalry game in my personal opinion. It's up there with the one of the best rivalries. These two sides go back a long, long way, played in many grand finals against each other. If you count St George and St George Illawarra as the one club, um, them and South Sydney have won more premierships than anyone in the history of Australian Rugby League. Uh, for this match, I think that South Sydney will continue their win streak over St George in the NRL. I'm going to go for South to win 1 12 on Super Saturday. I think uh, South were okay against Penrith last week, and if they, they play sort of the same way against St George, they should win. The main match on, well, the, the final game of Super Saturday, and you can probably see it's the main match, is the Gold Coast up against Parramatta. This one's being played at Seabus Super Stadium there on the Gold Coast. Um, in times gone by, Parramatta's, one of Parramatta's bogey sides was Gold Coast. But in recent times, Parramatta's won their last six encounters against the Gold Coast. The last time the Gold Coast beat Parramatta was in round three in the 2017 NRL season. They won that 26 points to 14. And it was a very embarrassing night for Parramatta because the Gold Coast had no bench. And I think I remember punching a door or something like that. I was proper angry at losing the goal course in that fashion. Uh, Parramatta were great last week against St, St George. Uh, some of the tries were Harlem Globe trying to like, especially the one with Bryce Cartwright doing the flick pass and jumping at the same time towards the end of the game. And uh, I haven't really seen many performances like that from Parramatta in the last few years. As for the goal course last week, I didn't watch the game, but I saw the highlights and I saw the comments on social media and some people were describing it as possibly the worst game that they've seen in, in quite a number of years. And uh, they got that very lucky try towards the end of the game against West Tigers. And I think if the goal course are going to stand any chance against Parramatta, they have to play better than that. Um, I will tip Parramatta to win this game. I don't think that they'll win by a scoreline like they did against St George. I think it'll be much closer. I'll go for Parramatta to win by 10 points on the Super Saturday over the Gold Coast. The first match on Sunday sees Cronulla Sutherland up against West Tigers. This one's being played at Shark Park. Cronulla's sat in fourth at the moment. West Tigers rock bottom. They haven't won a single match to start of the year. Uh, Cronulla have been playing very well. Um... They're playing the way that I thought they would with some of the acquisitions that they made in the in the off season. There, I'm going to leave this short and sweet. Um, West Tigers have got a lot of problems off the field. There's a lot of disharmony in that that club, and um, they will win a couple of games this year. But I don't see them beating the Cronulla down there at Shark Park. I'm going to go for Cronulla to win 13 plus on the Sunday, and the final match to close out round five. Sees Canary Bankstown up against Penrith. This one's being played in enemy territory for Canary Bankstown. They're playing at the Western Sydney Stadium, which is Parramatta's home ground, their, their arch rival. Uh, Penrith have won eight of the last ten encounters against Canterbury. So in recent times, Penrith love playing against Canary Bankstown. Last week I predicted it. I said that Melbourne would beat Canterbury 13+. Plus, and it turned out that way um, in a big way. Canterbury were heading to the big fat donut there. They didn't score a single point down there in Melbourne. And to be fair, I think even with all the acquisitions that they've made and all the signings and all the hype around them, I think they've actually gotten... Um, they're either the same or they've actually gotten worse under Trent Barrett with all these signings. Uh, Penrith just keep rolling on. 
it doesn't seem to matter who's in, who's out. They just keep winning. And uh, I think that they've forgotten how to lose in, in some respects. For this match, I'm going to go for Penrith to win 13 plus. I think they're going to be too good for Canterbury. Canterbury are averaging around about 6 or 10 points a game. And if you, if you want to beat Penrith, you have to score more than that if you any chance of beating them. So I'm going to go for Penrith to win 13 plus. But anyways, everyone, that's me tips for the 2022 round five of the NRL competition. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know who we are tipping, um, the margins, face try scorers, all that. And let me know if you're having a bet this weekend on the Ake or the Motley. Anyways, everyone, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be doing me Super League tips for round eight of the Super League competition tomorrow. Anyways, everyone, catch us all later. Tatty bye for now.